Hello, friends and neighbors. Sorry about the mix-up in the time. We just kind of lost our minds, I guess. And <laughs> Bryce is over there looking sheepish, like somebody who may have lost his mind. <laughs> give me a week off. <laughs> he says, give me a week off, and he makes these mistakes. So, hello, Roberta and Betty G, Adeline, Irene, Thelma, Mary, Alice, and Diane. Let's get going here. We have a lot, a lot. You should see the bucket, Brittany brought me. Holy cow. We have a lot to talk about today. So let me see. I think I'm going to start with a couple of basics and just create some room here. I just restocked. Let me just come in a little closer to it here. I just restocked 3D foam rolls. These are not the shaker tape ones. These are the half inch. I restocked those. We just got in two, uh, two millimeter 19 by 38 squares, one millimeter 19 by 38 millimeter squares. We got in one millimeter 24 by 24 uh, millimeter squares. But two of those, I'm guessing she probably meant to give me a two millimeter. I believe we got two millimeter in those. And we got one millimeter five by five and two millimeter five by five squares. So we just restocked a bunch of our foam squares. So you can look for those. Roberta, you'll be proud of me. I actually placed another order directly from Hunky Dory because... They just the distributor just wasn't getting my Mary mats posted. So we now have gold seven by seven Mary mats. We have silver eight by eight. We have gold eight by eight. We have gold a six. And we have gold six by six Mary mats. All of these were dangerously low or out of stock. So those are all back in. Uh, a couple of odds and ends here. I bought some of these gears because I thought they were really cool. And they would go with our steampunk cards from Graphic 45. The, um, the um, chipboard ones they used in their kits are no longer available anywhere. So I got these metal ones, and I think these will be great. Look how big those are compared to my hand. I mean, they're they're big, which will make big, beautiful cards. We have smaller gears in the store, too, but these bigger ones are kind of hard to find. So I got these from Tim Holtz. We just got in 125 milliliter bottles of Cosmic Shimmer again, in case you're needing to refill your glue bottles. They are here. All right, uh, where to go from here? First, I'm going to rub my nose. I don't know what's in the air. When we drove to east of the mountains, are the big gears heavy? Not terribly heavy, Alice. They're not real thick. Um, a little heavier than chipboard, surely, but uh, they don't seem real heavy in the pack. Okay, let's see. I want to show you, we're going to have a project coming up with this paper soon. Um, I'm going to open the 6 by 6 pack so you can see it. We will be having a project before long using these colors. I stashed the 12 by 12 so we would be sure and have enough to do our project when I come in. But we got this paper in a 12 by 12 also. Hi, Karen. Hi, Victoria. This is tabs on both sides. Okay. There we go. All right. So you're going to have to come in real close on this. Huh? Look at this paper that I found. This is from um, Prima Marketing. And I want you to see the colors. It's just spectacular. So if you just can't wait till we do our project in these colors, there are 
some of these small six by sixes. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This collection is called Aquarelle. And I've been watching it for some time since they pre-announced it and snagged it when they came in. Of course, we have multiples in the same pattern. Looks like they give us a few more pages of each than they do in some brands. I don't buy as much Prima, although sometimes they're really beautiful. And one of the things that I loved with this Prima, oh my gosh. <laughs> one of the things I loved in this Prima band is the matching flowers that I'll show you momentarily. That's amazing, Betty. And these are two-sided papers. So I will flip them around and show you the back also. Before I do that, though, let me show you the flowers that match. These are the flowers that came in to go with those. Those. And these. And these all match these patterns. So let's see. This is the other way around. Our little phrases. Six shades of each or eight? There are, I think, four. Six double sided designs, five sheets of each. 30 sheets in the pad. So we got the little phrases. Let me show you those flowers again. Wow, sir. Beautiful. Flowers would probably go better with the bigger pads, really, but just to tell you what's here. Aren't these beautiful, though? <laughs> That's okay if your pocket faces the wrong direction. I mean, it's still going to be a pocket. Aren't they just beautiful? Anyway, this is called Aquarelle. I have just a couple of these six by six pads, but we're going to do a beautiful project with the 12 by 12s. And we may even pull some of these flowers in. So there we go. That's what I have from Prima Marketing. I have one new quilling book. <laughs> And I think I have one copy. I pulled it out in Quilling Club the other night and showed them. And um, you're going to have to back up a little bit. I pulled it out in Quilling Club the other night and showed them. I had four copies and three of them went out the door with my quilling class. This is quilling paper flowers in a Japanese style. This is a really nice book. One of the things I like about this book is that all of the instructions are done in a series of color photos. So you can really follow what they're doing in their designs. Everything is really laid out well for the directions. So it's got pretty patterns in it too, but all of the patterns are just really, really well defined. It's a hardcover book, and it's a brand new release. I believe it's published in 2022, and it's only $16.99 for the hardcover book, and just really quite pretty. I was looking to see if I could tell you the publishing date. It's by Tuttle. English translation was 2022. 
that's what it says. So I'm going to call it a 2022 release, and it just has some really, really pretty patterns. So there you go. And really good directions, just quite good directions. All right. I want to show you the latest kits I got in from Heartfelt Creations. We won't be making this one in class because I've already made it and showed it to you. But this is the, what do they call it? They call it the Warm Wishes Holiday Trinket Mini Album. And this is the same album that I made at Christmas time. Come in a little closer on this one now, if you would, please. I know. <laughs> there we go. And your kit will include everything you may, you need to make this album just as it's shown, because I followed their directions making this little album. So we've got pull-outs. We've got lift-up patterns. We've got uh, waterfall designs where you can lift multiple pages. It's really, really a cute, fun little album to make. And it's just beautiful when it's done. It's got pockets. You get everything that you need to make this album in the kit. And this is here from Heartfelt Creations. It's called the Warm Wishes Holiday Trinket Mini Album. And that kit is now available. It actually uses a 12 by 12 paper pad. And you use a very large portion of that paper pad just because there's really a big concentration of, of pages in this little book. Very pretty. So the Holiday Trinket album is here. Some of you have already ordered these. We will be making these in class. This is the Flower Market Floral Pocket Card Set. A couple of you have already bought these. Let me see if I can get in on the picture close enough that you can see what these cards will look like. I don't know. Oh, yeah, my cameraman's very good. This is the cards like we'll be making out of this kit. So this is now available to buy. We are going to make this in class. The Flower Market Floral Pocket Card Set. So this is making cards with our different month flower months you'll get the let me see if it says what you get here you get the eight by eight paper pack floral market journaling cards flower assortment uh, five and a half by five and a half cards in ivory the instruction sheet the bag and the pleasure of my company in class <laughs> off of the value price of 35 dollars <laughs> Come on, go in there. Go in there. There we go. Okay. All right. So that's the G45 floral. What else? Actually, I don't have that yet. I need to keep that one for my class. Okay, then we have the Graphic 45. So let's see which one this is. I believe this is floral. Yeah. This is the Flower Market Frame Monthly Calendar. This is the one that Roberta's been asking for. This is the calendar we're going to make. It's on an easel flip frame. We'll create the little easel, and then we'll create all of our, our calendar pages. This will have to be a Saturday project. Oh, it's going to take a little time to do this, but it's going to be beautiful and fun. So 
So this is the easel calendar. It's called A-Frame Monthly Calendar Kit. And we will be making this on a Saturday in the near future. An A-Frame calendar. And this is a big hit. You get the 12 by 12 collection pack, a flower market chipboard, flower market ephemera assortment, 12 by 12 chipboard sheets, a pack of 10 of those, antique brass, bronze binder rings. And I think they're actually sending you like a collector's button for G45 pack. <laughs> so there's the flower market easel calendar kit and we will be doing this soon i just got to get my calendar mapped out so that is coming soon coming very soon okay all right, I just reordered and received the Deluxe Collector's Edition uh, Mother Goose, because we sold, can you back up a little, honey? Because we sold out of all of these. Um, be sure you take a look when we have these Collector's Editions in, because you never know how long they're going to last. We just talked a couple of weeks ago about the portrait of a lady. It is now sold out on G45 and gone. So I don't know when or if they'll bring that back, but right now it's completely gone. The portrait of a lady that we talked about just two weeks ago and we're sold out too. So if you think you might want one of these collector's editions, you should get them while they're available because you never know how long they're gonna last. Okay. We have lots. <laughs> Brittany will tell you we have too much, but I never too much. Heartfelt creations. <laughs> Price is raising his eyebrows at me. <laughs> okay. First, I'm going to show you. They don't know if we did this. I don't think we did. Excuse me. I'm going to show you the wicker basket set. We talked about them, but I don't know if I showed them to you. Here's the first with wicker basket. This is the I Want It All collection. Here's the stamp and the die of the wicker basket. Here is the basket blooms. This is what the blooms look like when they're colored in. And there's your die for that. These actually are made to slide right into that basket. And then this is basket florals, which are also made to slide right into that basket. Here's the basket florals. I like that they give you a coloring sample with these. And then the basket also has a paper pad. We have this both in an I Want It All collection and we have the uh, we have the I Want It All and we have the individual items. So I'm just going to make a quick trip through here. We have a lot to see today. Oops. Okay, there's the front. Some of these might be upside down. Like the card faces here. Love those baskets in the corners. That's beautiful. Let's see that. You get two pages of each. 
this looks kind of like one of their new cutting dies that they've put above this basket in this page. There we go. Here's things you can cut out with your dies. Or you have those beautiful papers on the backs. Here's more things. Look at these roses they did with those bloom sets. Aren't they beautiful? We have some 6x6 six six card faces. More 6x6. Six And tags with the backs of the tags in that light green. Um, I do not know how big the easel calendar is. I'll take another look at it here in a minute and see if we can figure it out, okay? Um, we can kind of judge it based on the calendar itself, I believe because um, the calendar itself is not huge. So I don't think you have to have a special table for it or anything. I think it's going to be a reasonable size. Okay, that was the flower basket florals. I want it all collection. Okay, let's see if we can figure that out, how big that is. Well, yeah, let's see here. If you look here, the calendar pages themselves are just slightly larger than the little, come in, a little closer on this picture right here. The calendar itself is just a little larger than the calendar piece itself. And I have one of those calendars. I'm working, still working and finishing up my second journal. Here's the calendar. Let me get a ruler. Back up a little bit, please. Okay, that's five and a quarter by three and a quarter, three, almost three and a half. And I'm going to end up saying that that page is going to be uh, seven by six, I think. Seven inches by six inches, I believe, is going to be the size of the pages. That's my best guess. Yeah, that's the size of the pages, guys. Seven by six. Okay. I picked up some of these because they're clearing them out. And I still think these are very, very pretty. This is the elegant teapot. I love the little florals that go with that. And I just think they're very pretty. So the elegant teapot and florals, I picked up some more of those. This is one that they've also announced that they're that they are retiring. They're retiring the swirly accent die. These are just gonna be beautiful for trimming things out. Really beautiful. How many dies do you get in this? It does not say, but each die has a die and a shadow. So I'm gonna say there's eight dies in this set. And look how frilly and beautiful those are going to be for accents. Just gorgeous. The swirly border accents are retiring. And once again, you can almost see it easier on this side. You have the 
frilly part and then you have the shadow behind it. So we're going to, I'm going to say you get four in that one. And this booklet basics, um, last week I had the, the frilly, the one that was filigreed around the outside. This one is the booklet basics. So this one's this more straight edge card uh, book set. And they have this one and it has six dies in it. Okay. Um, I've got some little odds and ends here. I'll show you the large sweet peony. I thought we needed to get a few more of those while we could still get them. It has these beautiful petals in it. I love some of the things that they have done in the sample cards with the fence. So I picked up the tulip card cart and fence die. And then you can put your little tulips along the front of the fence, which is gorgeous. Okay. I love this one. And this floral song die will not last. This is just actually one of my favorite um, stamps. Look at this one. Floral song with the birds. And then we have dies to cut out those birds. The, the, the floral song dies are already gone off Heartfelt Creations. I couldn't get any more from my distributor. So these will not last. Okay, we still had a few of the tulip supplies, so I picked up another um, 3D tulip shaping mold. I have picked up a really good selection of these poinsettia and holly clusters, because we'll be using these perhaps in our um, Christmas in July. We have the cluster stamps, we have the cluster dies, and we have the shaping mold. Beautiful. Love, love, love them. So I picked up all those. All right. Let's see what else we have. They are retiring the lilac. So I got a few of the lilac supplies. Here's the lush lilac stamp. I have the lilac scroll and cage. This is already gone off the site. Here's the um, lush lilac umbrella spray. Love that. Isn't that just pretty? Can you imagine using that little umbrella? So cute. And this is fun. Sweet Lilac Scroll and Notes. Look how beautiful this is. And you've got the little stamps that will stamp right onto that scroll. Isn't that pretty? Lilac Scroll with Notes. So we got those in. We got Wisteria is retiring. I love the wisteria. I want to do the wisteria because it's really um, it's really unusual the way you create these flowers to create these uh, kind of drooping blossoms. Here's the petals, and here's the dies. You've got the drooping vines, and then you the creation of the wisteria petals is really unusual. I think it looks really fun. I like the wisteria. And here's some more vines that go with the wisteria. Okay. <laughs> I'm running out of ribbon in my box. I'm not as good as packing it as Brittany was. A few things that are just on the retired list they picked up. We actually have quite a bit of the floral fashionista left, so I thought it'd be fun to have 
some more of the elements of fashion to go with those floral fashionistas. So we've got the skirt, the hat, a little corset. I think those will be cute. Dogwood Chapel is just a really nice one for Easter. So I picked up a couple more of these because they say he lives in Happy Easter. The cross is the church and the dogwood. I just think they're really pretty. Okay. Let's see. Next, we have Wild Aster. And I showed you, I believe, the Wild Aster die came in last week. But we have the Wild Aster petals here. These are going to get really hard to find really fast. Hi, Sharma. This is the petals that go with the wild and the, and the foliage for the wild aster. And we have the dyes separately. The dyes are not going to last because they're already sold out on Heartfelt. And they are already sold out at the distributors. Here's the wild aster spray. Stamps and dyes. Now some of these... Might not be ones that you look at and immediately say, gee, I think I need the stamp and the die for that. The stamps are beautiful, and you're going to get a lot of use from them. But if you ever have to cut that out, you are not going to want to fussy cut that. So it's useful to have the dies that match some of those more ornate flowers. There are some tricks to getting a really close cut on those. We'll have to uh, do a class and show you how to get a really close cut with your dies and some of these more ornate items. I love this wild aster scroll. It's beautiful. So we've got the stamps and the dies for the wild aster. <laughs> okay, we have Welcome Baby. I was kind of irritated with myself because I went into the closeout and picked up all of the collections for some of these ones that were retiring. And then I just, for some reason, I don't understand. I just didn't check out right then. And I lost some of my items Okay, so here's Welcome Baby. Here's the dies. I'll just show them to you as we go. Here's the baby's hot air balloon. So cute. You got baby girl or baby boy that fits on that little placard. And where the cage is to the hot air balloon. Here are the stamps that went with that Welcome Baby. This is the one I lost. They had all these cute little critters, and I did not get the die. So you might have to get the die elsewhere. But here's the stamps for baby's friends. But these would be great to use with the little baby icons. So fun. These would be great in an album, too. So baby ones is a good segue because I have baby papers next. <laughs> I don't know if these dies are even going to stay in that box the way I have them there. Here's the Tender Moments collection papers. If you want them, Irene, I will have them. If you would like to have the slimline dies brought in, I will get them. Here we go. Here's the baby papers. Yes, Alice, here's the baby papers right here. And those little critters we were just looking at. Look at these. Aren't they just adorable? <laughs> these tall paper pads are hard to show sometimes. But look at that. Isn't that cute? Of course, you get two of each. 
There's the back of that paper. A little wonderful heart. Here's more of the little critters. And it's nice up the side here, too. We have baby boy, welcome. Congratulations, baby girl and baby. So some nice labels up the side. Here's that hot air balloon. Okay, I'll get them. <laughs> These are just so cute. Such pretty papers. And they are in blues and pinks, so you can do your album or your card collection. And for boys or girls, oh, so cute. I got to check those Valentine stamps out, Atlas. That sounds cute. So I'm not doing justice to this paper because a lot of it's done in really soft printing. So you almost have to see it. But because it's soft, it kind of gives that soft, cozy kind of impression of baby things. but you can still see the color collections. Okay, so that is the Tender Moments. Here's the Luck Lush Lilac. This has now gone off the site. Can't get this one anymore, so when these are gone, they'll be gone. By the way, I think I still have and I want it all in lilac. So if you just really love it, like I do, and you feel like you want the lilac for as long as it lasts, I have an I want it all in lilac. These are just beautiful. Can you come in closer? Hun? There we go. Back of the package. Beautiful. These are just so elegant and so pretty. The spring coming up. Aren't they just gorgeous? Here's the little lilac blooms you can cut out with the dye. Now you don't have to add layers to these lilacs. So if you have some of the dyes and you don't have the lilac blossoms themselves, you don't actually have to layer them. They are beautiful one way or the other. You certainly can layer them. There's that umbrella. Isn't it pretty? I love this set. Of course I would. It's purple. Birds in the corner. Six by six and the four by six panels. Just already perfect for card making. Some more six by six panels. More six by six panels. Here's our tags. We'll 
Let's see what's on the back of the tags. A very, very soft color. Okay. I wish with these pads they wouldn't even gum them. That they just put them in a package so you could show them and not. This is Wild Aster. This is retiring also. Somehow, I almost think I showed you this, but maybe I didn't. Okay, here's first page. Love those purple stripes. Second page. Card fronts. More card fronts. I love these scenes that they do sometimes. Isn't that beautiful? There's your card right there in the corner. And some all equally beautiful background papers for other things. Here's your asters if you want to cut them out. Two pages of those. With some, uh, actually, and two more in pink. I should show you instead of just saying it. Here's some 6x6 six six and 4x6 six card faces. There we go. Six by six panels. Tags. Love that fuchsia. Why isn't that pretty? Another piece of fuchsia. Okay, so a quick glance at the Wild Aster collection. Okay, we have Garden Lily coming up. I'm just going to show you the whole set here. Here's the I Want It All in the Garden Lily collection. Okay, here, <laughs> this is the I Want It All, so you get a lot in this one. You get the flower stamen for the lilies. Here's the garden lily itself. This is brand new, just released. This is garden lily spray and the fillers. Kind of hard to see what you're getting with that one. Let me turn that around so you can see it. There you go. Here's the garden lily bouquet and buds. Aren't they beautiful? Here's the 3D Garden Lily Mold. And we have the Garden Lily Paper Pack. Probably better open this other one instead of the one that I want it all.
Okay, here we go. Fruit Garden Lily. All right. Beautiful. This is so good for Easter, for Mother's Day, for condolence cards. Just gorgeous. Pretty, pretty colors, too. I think I have three of these. I wanted all collections. And then, of course, we have all the individual supplies separately, too. There's the lilies, the foliage, and the buds. There's the six by six and the four by six panels. Six by six panels. This is really a gorgeous, really gorgeous collection. So versatile, too. Hi, Annette. Here's the tanks. And the back of the tags paper. Okay. And of course, with the I Want It All, you get this pretty little pink carrying bag. Nice to even bundle this with the stamen, which is good. These have special stamen for the um, for the lilies. See how they're all long and skinny. That'd be great. Okay, I want it all collection. Wowzer. Okay, we've done a little bit of this, but I want to show you. Um, I only have a couple of these left, but I'm going to show you these one more time. We have just a couple of these. There we go. Get it the right direction. A couple of these awesome winter sets left. If you want one, grab it. I think I'm not sure how many we have, actually. I think we had, the last time I looked, four or five of them left. And I haven't looked at it for a couple days, so I'm not sure how many we have left. But they are beautiful. Did I get rested and recharged? Let me say, I got a lot of things done that needed to be done. It was dragging me down. Um, Mom's out of the hospital. And we got her caregiver set up, so that was awesome. Um, we, I got the rental rented, which is always a little stressful till you get that taken care of. And I got the rental rented. And I have um, interviews scheduled for tomorrow for Ashley's replacement. Not that you ever could replace Ashley. So we did all those things. We also took a trip over to Richland, Richland, Washington, where Bryce's sister just bought a new house. And it's about three and a half hours from here. And we just decided impulsively that we were going to run over there and see them and be their first company. They moved in on Saturday. The moving trucks delivered their stuff. And on Sunday, we showed up 
rang their doorbell. We were the first people to ring their doorbell. <laughs> and took them out to dinner. Then we turned around and came back <laughs> to Portland. So seven hours driving so we could ring their doorbell and say hello and be their first company. But it was fun. And they were super appreciative of our efforts to support their new house and their new adventure. So that was fun. I slept, other than that, I slept a lot. <laughs> Is Bryce recharged? I don't know, honey. Are you recharged? He says, no, never. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. We have four left. We have four of these left. So that's what happened with my week off. So a lot of things that were weighing heavily on me are resolved. Okay. We looked at this just a minute ago, but I just want to remind you what we have coming up in our flower in our um in our classes we have the flower market frame a month calendar it's an easel calendar we just decided that those are seven by six inch pages on that little easel and we'll be making that we will be making flower market birthday cards and I believe this kit makes six, but you can make way, way more. Um, I believe it comes with a pack of six envelopes and cards, though. And you'll be able to make way more than that. And these are going to be the flower market birthday cards. We are going to be making... We're going to be making the Voyage Beneath the Sea Treasure Chest and Stowaway album. This is going to be great fun. I can't wait to get my hands on this. So the Stowaway album. We are going to be making Couture cards. This is the one I said will be a little bit of a stretch for me, but I think it will be fun. These are going to be Couture fashion cards. Uh, go back down. I can't read the whole thing. I'm trying to find the cursor. Oh, it's, there it is. Hey, Debbie, I may not get a lot of projects done for the challenge kid having issues with my chemo. Oh, bless your heart. But we'll send pictures what I do finish. That's excellent. You, you do what you can do, Victoria. And that is all we can ask, isn't it? And then we have one more project, and I think I'm going to start this for Saturday. I want to do this one Saturday. This is the Voyage Beneath the Sea Steampunk Splash Card Set. And they're like easel cards and other things using those really fun Voyage Beneath the Sea papers. So we will, I think we're going to do this on Saturday. We're going to do this tomorrow. I owe you this one. Lots of you bought this magazine, and then I was not up to performing my job. So I will be here tomorrow, and we will be making cards using this RSPB Issue 1 Papercraft Special Premium Magazine. It is gorgeous. You get so much with this. You get dies. You get stamps. You get an embossing folder, you get papers, and you get me. So tomorrow, 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern, this is what we're going to do. And we will jump in and get some fun and fabulous projects done for you tomorrow night using this kit. And then on Saturday, I want to do this steampunk card kit. So that's what I have in store for you right now. I'm looking around to see if I missed anything. I had my desk so stacked up, but I think I got everything. Do you guys have any questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom? I see your message about the chest, Roberta. I will look at that. 
Yeah. Um, anybody have questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom? So we will be back tomorrow. I'll have our newsletter out tonight. And I'll be back tomorrow with our paper craft special. Then on Saturday, we'll be doing the steampunk cards from Beneath, I think it's called Beneath the Sea. Yes, Beneath the Sea. I'm so excited about that. Um, Friday. <laughs> You're welcome, Phoebe. Phoebe's and Victoria. Um, Friday we'll have our um, our Fab Friday. We're going to do a special on Valentine's materials for our Fab Friday. So that should be fun. That'll be different than what we've been doing. And on when is the challenge due? Didn't we say the 13th things had to be here by the 13th? Photos need to be here by the 13th, which is what day? That's the day we'll be showing the projects from the challenge. No, that's not, that doesn't that's sound right. Monday. Oh, the Monday. Okay. Um, hmm. So what day did, may, uh, maybe back up. Maybe it's supposed to be the 11th. Is it supposed to be the 11th? What did we say, guys? I think we said the 11th on the challenge, right? I think it says in the listing, actually. If you can go there, we can look at it. I think it says in the listing. Although the listing sold out now, so it might not be up there. Is the challenge listing even here? I think it might have disappeared since we have... Sold all of the kits. It is. Um, I'll confirm for you in the newsletter, guys. Be sure you look at your newsletter, and I'll confirm the um, challenge terms in the newsletter, okay? The email said February 10th. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. <laughs> Let me off work for just a week, and I lose my mind entirely. <laughs> I, I could say I didn't have far to go. <laughs> And it would be true. Okay, so that's what we have going on. If you like today, hit that like button, if you would, please. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We have so many fun things that are coming up. Oh, my gosh, so many fun things. And you don't want to miss any of them. And for those of you who are not currently getting our newsletter so that you don't have easy access to all these products we talked about, I'm going to put a link to the newsletter right here below this video down in the comments section. You can whip down there and sign up for our newsletter so that you can have easy access to any of these things we talked about today. I think that's it. So without further ado, I will see you all tomorrow, and I'm going to say good night, Gracie.